So I am a huge fan of Ecamm. If you follow me on social media, you know this. I'm always posting about Ecamm and what I'm doing in Ecamm and things like that. However, there's one feature in Ecamm that I'm not a huge fan of. It's a small, small issue, a small complaint, but I don't prefer to use Ecamm's feature of scheduling live streams. So in this video, I wanna walk you through how I schedule live streams directly through YouTube, and we'll do that right after this. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Ken the Content Coach. Again, in this video, I wanna show you an easy way to schedule your live streams directly through YouTube. Now this is going to work for Ecamm definitely. It's also gonna work for OBS or any other system that allows you to import a custom stream key. So to do this, we're gonna go directly over to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you how this works. And you can do this directly from your channel, from the YouTube homepage or from Creator Studio. So when you get to YouTube, if you go up to the top, you're gonna to see the camera. This is typically where you upload your videos. You're gonna see upload video and go live. If you click on go live, it's gonna bring you to your live stream studio. So once you are in the live streaming studio, you're gonna see the streams already scheduled that you have. These are my two that I've already got scheduled. If you look up in the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna see schedule stream. If you click schedule stream, you're gonna have a pop-up that says, you know, hey, do you wanna create a new stream or do you wanna reuse settings? I love this because you can hit this drop down and you can just create a stream that is just like what you've done before. It's gonna import those settings from that stream. In this case, we're gonna use this one here, just stream with me. So I'm gonna hit reuse settings. And then you would simply go through and change the information you need to change for this stream specifically. In my case, in the description, a lot of this is gonna stay the same, so I'm not gonna mess with that. We will scroll down. The rest of the description is the same. Same category. We'll keep the thumbnail for now. Playlist will be the same. You won't have to change anything here. You can hit show more just like you would when you're uploading a video. You can change your tags if you need to. Again, for this stream, I don't need to do that because it's the same stream I do every week. All the settings, we hit next. On the next screen, this is your customization. So this is the area where you can select your live chat if you want chat, if you want that live chat to replay, your participant mode if you want subscribers or anyone to be able to chat. It has, again, imported those from the last stream. So we're gonna hit next. Next up, you have the visibility option. This is where you would set whether you want it public, unlisted, or private. We're gonna schedule this one for a different date. We'll go January 14th because I already have the 7th scheduled. And then we'll change the time to my normal time of 9 p.m. Obviously, when you're scheduling, you would set this according to what you're scheduling for. And then we will hit done. This is gonna go through and actually schedule the stream, make it visible on YouTube. And once this is complete, you're going to see your stream. It's gonna have information you need for this stream. Now for Ecamm, you won't really need any of this. If you're gonna schedule this in OBS, you will need the stream key, so you can unhide that, copy it. The way that you put this in OBS is go to settings, stream, and then you would wanna change your stream key. So you can just simply paste that in, say okay. And that's going to now save that stream. When you're ready in OBS, you hit start streaming, you are good to go. So back to YouTube Studio, you see the list of live streams you now have created, and here's the one that we created for January 14th, it's there. Now the cool thing about Ecamm is that Ecamm, you don't have to take that stream key and load that. Ecamm is gonna automatically recognize that stream as long as you're logged in with the right profile. So looking at Ecamm here, if I hit my drop down for the scheduled streams, you're gonna see the stream we just created shows up. I had to do nothing to make that happen. Very simple, works very well. So that is the easy way to create live streams using YouTube Studio instead of having to do it in Ecamm. Again, as much as I love Ecamm, that is just one feature that I wish would be improved. I wish that the box could be resized, everything like that, but YouTube is a great option to do that. I do love that Ecamm picks it up automatically. If you have any questions about scheduling live streams or Ecamm, throw those down in the comments below. Let me know or find me on social media. I'd be glad to help you out. In the description of this video, I do have a link for a 14 day free trial if you wanna try Ecamm. If you have any questions at all, just keep in mind that it is Mac only that Ecamm works on. So there is that feature if you're a Mac user though, Ecamm is the best option in my opinion 
four live streams there is. So thanks for being here for this video. Hopefully this video helps you. If you're into this type of content, if you have a YouTube channel, if you're trying to learn different ways to improve your channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell next to it. And if you find any value in this video, hit the thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate that. If you need to get in touch with me for any reason, in the description of this video, you will find links to everything, website, email, everything is there. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Just hit record. We'll see you for the next one. Later, y'all.